Okay, it's recording. So, just make sure okay. it oh, keeps going. Yeah, it pops and it stops recording and it says it can't do it anymore. Oh, okay. Because all of a sudden it cut off and I was like, what? And it started again and it was like, nope, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, I apologize. I flubbed this so badly. I mean, everything on my board is now right. But... I probably missed all the bad stuff, so you're good. I just stopped and record. Just re got a clip of the good of the final project. The final thing, anyway. Okay, okay so you have that. I have that. Okay. But it might have missed all the mistakes. <laughs> it just so happened. So. I think I actually it actually cut off before the mistakes. So all I gotta do is like, use some memory charm on the rest of you. And... <laughs> I, 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 I seriously think it cut off before the the whole like oops. I think it cut off before like the oops stuff. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, God willing. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so so the thing is. Um, Because we have this situation right here that, um, all right, so this, this expression is zero for i less than j, but if I express these in a polynomial form as an inner product, pi minus one j minus 1, um, because this dot product is equal to this, um, where dot product of the inner product of two functions is the dot product of f of a transpose times b with g of a. Um, which gives me this. Um, so this is going to be zero for i less than j. And um, so what it means is pj minus 1 is orthogonal to um, p0, p1, and so on, all the way up to pj minus 2. So follow to all of those polynomials. Um, so that means that pj minus 1 is orthogonal to all polynomials of lesser degree. Including, and this is what's most important for determining these matrix entries, um, Lambda PK of lambda for K plus minus 1 rather than k, um, just for consistency of the notation on the previous board. Um, and because it's orthogonal to all polynomials of those degree, it's orthogonal to this, and that is why hkj is equal to 0. Um, So now, the consequence of that is we have this relationship. Qj plus 1 times beta j, some constant, is equal to aqj. And now, before I had a summation that went from i equals 1 to j, but now I don't have it anymore. I'm going to have h um, j minus 1j qj minus 1 minus hjj qj. So this is my recurrence um, that shows how my um, 
biophagal base to generate. So I have this kind of relationship for the Q's. I have a similar relationship for the Q hats. But going forward, I'm not going to actually describe them using these same expressions. I'm going to describe it using a recurrence relation that's consistent with what I've used before when talking about the Lanchell software. relations for both bases. Um, okay, so the current that we have is okay, beta j, q, j plus one. The beta j is just a uh, constant due to the fact that what's on the right side of this is not normalized um, in any way. But this is going to be normalized, so we just account for the fact that we haven't normalized yet by putting this here. Um, and I'm going to call this vector rj. Um, so it's a minus alpha j identity, qj minus gamma j minus 1. Qj minus 1. So here's our current relation for the Qs. And now I have a similar relationship for the Q hats. I have gamma j, Q hat j plus 1. And now, so this right side I'll call this Rj hat. And here I use a transpose. So each Q hat depends on the previous two. 